Katie Wynn, and today's special guests are sister and brother, Saritha and Nikal. That's a cool sound. I gotta call a friend. Hi, Saritha. Hi, Nikel. Hi, Katie. I wanna show you something. <coughs> what does that sound like? A flute? It does sound like a flute, doesn't it? It's kinda shaped like a flute, too. <coughs> How does that work? Great question. It's actually two carrots I put together to make a slide whistle. When I was a little kid, my dad used to take me to a lot of orchestra concerts. Have you ever been to an orchestra concert? Yes. I was hoping to put on a music recital for my dad using vegetables as musical instruments, and I want to know if you could help me out. Okay. Do you want to help me out? Sure. So let's make a veggie orchestra. I have a couple leaks here. I wonder how I can make sounds with these. What do you think will happen if I rub these two white parts together? What do you think will happen? That's pretty cool. It makes kind of like a high-pitched squeaky sound. Let's see what happens when we peel the outer layers off. It's even louder, the squeak. I'm a DJ. I'm a leak J. <laughs> hey, so I'm gonna try to make a trumpet using vegetables. Never done this before. I've got a knife and a drill, so make sure you've got your safety goggles. I've got safety gloves too. If you try this, make sure you have a grown up with you. Here we go. First, I'm gonna chop off the ends of this cucumber. Oh, it is juicy. We have a tube. Just want to make sure that fits. So now I'm going to take this parsnip and I'm going to make the mouthpiece for my veggie trumpet. I'm just going to. All right. And I want to make sure that this mouthpiece fits in the cucumber. And then we take our bell pepper end. And we place it on this end. And you got a trumpet. <laughs> Remember this piece? I'm gonna put it on the end. What do you think is gonna happen when I cover up the end of this bell pepper and keep playing it? What do you think will happen? <laughs> we got Louis Armstrong. So now let's check back in with Saritha and Nikel to see and hear what instruments they're making. Saritha and Nikel. So which ones are your favorite sounds? So we have this. Shaking up pepper with beans inside it. Crunching an onion. My favorite is the coconut. Oh, mine is this. Cool, I like that one of you is hitting the coconut, one of you is shaking the coconut. Hitting and shaking a coconut. It's a rabbit. Oh, rubbing the coconuts together. And rubbing the coconut too. So you look like a master coconut player. So what, what's making the noise on those coconuts? The friction. Friction, what's friction? From two, it's when it is, when you see when two things rub together, it creates friction. Right, friction. When you rub two things together, they vibrate and they make sound. Sound happens when something vibrates. When you pluck a guitar string, the string moves back and forth really fast and it makes a noise. Or when you rub two leaks together, they vibrate and make a squeaky sound. Do you have two carrots there with holes in them? Can you hold the two carrots up so we can see both of them? All right. And, and Saritha, what do you notice that is different between the two carrots? Mine's is a bit longer. Right, it's longer. 
Let's see if we can compare the sounds. Nice. So which one has the higher note? Yeah. So which one's higher? I don't which know. one's lower? Mine. I think mine's a bit higher. All right. That's because your carrot's shorter, so it's making a higher pitch note. And then the longer one makes a lower note. You want to just rock out for a minute? All right, everybody, ready for carrot jam? Carrot jam! Here we go. Saritha, Nikel, that was so great. Look at us, making veggie music. You know what I have to say to that? Nicola! Please take your seats. It's time for the veggie orchestra. This is for you, Dad. Another great thing about a veggie orchestra is that you can eat it. Dinner music you can eat? Mmm. I love this song. This is Bro Studios. <laughs>